Our Ancestors, by Italo Calvino is a collection of three novellas that explore the concept of human identity and fragmentation through allegorical and surreal tales. Each of the stories, The Cloven Viscount, The Baron in the Trees, and The Non-Existent Knight, presents protagonists who embody different facets of human experience and existence. Through these characters, Calvino engages with philosophical questions about wholeness, individuality, and the search for meaning in an absurd world. The blending of fantasy and reality in each of these stories allows Calvino to create a rich, multi-layered narrative that is both whimsical and deeply introspective. In The Cloven Viscount, the protagonist, Viscount Medardo, is split into two halves during a battle, one half good and the other evil. This literal division symbolizes the inner conflict of human nature, where good and evil coexist within each individual. Medardo's two halves live separate lives, wreaking havoc in opposite ways on the people around them, forcing them to confront the extremes of morality. The Viscount's journey toward wholeness mirrors the human struggle to reconcile the various aspects of our own identity, suggesting that true completeness comes from the union of opposing forces within us. Calvino uses this duality to question the nature of goodness and evil, highlighting how neither can exist meaningfully in isolation from the other. In The Baron in the Trees, the young Baron, Cosimo, rebels against societal expectations by deciding to live the rest of his life in the trees, never setting foot on the ground again. This decision represents a form of radical individuality, as Cosimo chooses to break free from the conventions of his world to pursue his own ideals of freedom and knowledge. His life in the trees becomes a metaphor for intellectual and spiritual independence, as he engages with the world from a distance, yet remains deeply connected to it. Cosimo's choice to live in isolation while still participating in the broader currents of life highlights Calvino's exploration of the tension between personal autonomy and communal responsibility. His elevated perspective allows him to see the world differently, but it also separates him from the intimacy of human relationships. In this story, Calvino examines the costs and benefits of self-imposed isolation and the pursuit of ideals at the expense of personal connection. The final novella, The Non-Existent Knight, tells the story of Agilolf, a knight who does not exist physically but is made up entirely of the armor that represents him. Despite his lack of physical substance, Agilolf is an exemplary knight, upholding all the ideals of chivalry with unwavering precision. His existence raises questions about the nature of identity, whether it is defined by external actions, the expectations of society, or some intrinsic quality. Agilolf's interactions with other characters, including the squire who begins to doubt his own purpose, show how the idea of existence can be shaped by societal roles and duties. Calvino uses Agilolf's character to probe the philosophical question of what it means to exist, and whether existence is tied to the fulfillment of certain functions or inherent characteristics. The story's absurd premise allows for a deeper reflection on the ways people define themselves through their actions and the pressures of conforming to societal expectations. The three novellas are linked not just by their themes of identity and existence, but also by Calvino's distinctive narrative style. His writing is playful and imaginative, yet also deeply philosophical. Each of the protagonists is engaged in a quest for wholeness, whether it is the Viscount's search for unity, the Baron's quest for intellectual freedom, or the knight's struggle with the nature of existence itself. Calvino uses these stories to examine how individuals navigate the complexities of identity in a world that often seems fragmented and contradictory. Through allegory and fantasy, Calvino explores how human beings strive for coherence in their lives, seeking to reconcile the various roles, desires, and responsibilities that make up their existence. In Our Ancestors, Calvino presents a vision of humanity that is both absurd and profound, using fantastical elements to explore the depths of human nature. His stories suggest that the search for identity is an ongoing process, one that requires individuals to confront both their internal divisions and their place in the larger social fabric. Ultimately, the novellas affirm the possibility of finding meaning and unity, even in a world that often seems fractured and incomprehensible.